Chapter 42 Then Job replied to the Lord, I know that you can do anything, and no one can stop you. You ask, Who is this that questions my wisdom with such ignorance? It is I. And I was talking about things I did not understand, things far too wonderful for me. You said, Listen, and I will speak. I have some questions for you, and you must answer them. I had heard about you before, but now I have seen you with my own eyes. I take back everything I said, and I sit in dust and ashes to show my repentance. After the Lord had finished speaking to Job, he said to Eliphaz the Temanite, I am angry with you and with your two friends, for you have not been right in what you said about me, as my servant Job was. Now take seven young bulls and seven rams, and go to my servant Job, and offer a burnt offering for yourselves. My servant Job will pray for you, and I will accept his prayer on your behalf. I will not treat you as you deserve, for you have not been right in what you said about me, as my servant Job was. So Eliphaz the Temanite, Bildad the Shuhite, and Zophar the Naamathite did as the Lord commanded them, and the Lord accepted Job's prayer. When Job prayed for his friends, the Lord restored his fortunes. In fact, the Lord gave him twice as much as before. Then all his brothers, sisters, and former friends came and feasted with him in his home. And they consoled him and comforted him because of all the trials the Lord had brought against him. And each of them brought him a gift of money and a gold ring. So the Lord blessed Job in the second half of his life even more than in the beginning. For now he had fourteen thousand sheep, six thousand camels, one thousand teams of oxen, and one thousand female donkeys. He also gave Job seven more sons and three more daughters. He named his first daughter Jemiah, the second Keziah and the third Kirin Habuk. In all the land there were no other women as lovely as the daughters of Job, and their father put them into his will along with their brothers. Job lived one hundred forty years after that, living to see four generations of his children and grandchildren. Then he died, an old man who had lived a long, good life.